Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies, and this is the Silka Flash 008 Manual Key Duplicator. Let's zoom in the camera and I'll give you a closer look. Now before we cut a key, let me just go over a few of the basic features here. As you can see, these jaws are um, wide, right? There's a lot of distance between them, so cutting any sort of remote head key is a non-issue. As far as the jaws go, there is four-way jaws on this machine. So all you have to do is just loosen up the jaw here and you can pick both pieces up and you can turn it and you can go around to the different jaws. This is important because the jaw that you're gonna cut like an SC1 key on is gonna be different than that you cut this B106 key on. Now, it also has a micro adjuster, which is really handy when um, you need to recalibrate the machine. And it also has a buffer wheel right here. This turn knob right here makes it real convenient when you're cutting a key that all you have to essentially do is hold the um, jaw up like this and you get to move this wheel back and forth. It's kind of like a uh, semi-automatic in a way. Instead of having like a lever right here that you would move back and forth, it has this nice little uh, wheel, which is um, real convenient. Now, as far as how you um, tip stop or shoulder stop the keys, okay, um, this is a two-part system here. So any key that has a shoulder stop like this, as you can see right here on this SC1, um, these type of keys have shoulder stops. So when you go ahead and you set the keys in like this and you adjust them, you're going to bring up this little gauge. It's spring-loaded, so you just put it up there, you align the keys, and that's how you're going to um, align them. But as far as tip stop keys go, okay, you have to use these two little bars, or you can use one if you want. Now, if you notice here, little tip, I put a magnet, an earth magnet on the end of this machine right here to hold these because they're uh, metal and it makes it nice so you don't lose them. Now, is what happens with these, okay, is you, you, you take one of these and you go ahead and you stick it in like that. And then you would put your key in and align it just like that. All right, so the, that's the two different ways, whether it's a tip stop, you'll use these little bars, otherwise you'll, you'll use this flip up shoulder gauge right here. Now, let's go ahead and let's cut a key. So I have an SC1 key right here, I'll go ahead and put in on the left side of the one that we wanna duplicate. We're gonna go ahead and put the um, blank on the right side. I'm gonna flip up this little shoulder gauge. I'm going to align the keys just like that. Once we have that, we're gonna flip this gauge all the way down, turn the machine on. And so what we'll do here is I'll bring up to the very start of the key. Now is what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hold it up here with my left hand and I'm gonna move this with my right hand, all right? So I'm just spinning it just like that. I'm going nice and slow, nice even pace. You don't want to jerk it around, you just wanna go Nice and smooth, all right? Go back the other way here. I always like to rock it a little bit between each cut. That way I always know. Just like that, all right? So we'll go ahead and turn the machine off. I'll show you here is the key. Now I'll turn it back on since it has that nice built-in buffer wheel and we'll buff it really quick. Just like that. So that is the Silka Flash 008 key machine. This machine's been out for a few years now, and I'd love to hear from you if you currently own this machine. Please, in the comments below, tell me, how have you been liking it? Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.